All right, guys. I'm gonna have me a little breakfast before I make the video. It's an unusual breakfast. It's a, a steak, but uh, I'm kind of hungry. <sighs> so we're gonna chow down on this hunk of meat. And then I'm going to unbox the sharper image card drum. Got some nice burnt onions on here. Delicious. guys we're gonna bust open the sharper image car drone <laughs> now you know <laughs> oh let me put my microphone on you know that I just uh, had that uh, breakfast actually this is a dual microphone there's one over here too maybe I'll put this one on uh, I'm telling you what, man. You go to the damn grocery store, steak costs a fortune. It's like buying gold. Maybe they ought to advertise that. On <laughs> Buy steaks. <laughs> God, that thing that that thing was like thirteen dollars. I was like, damn. The shit. I'll edit it up so it doesn't get rid of some of the fluff. All right. There's not a lot to this. Trust me. This is going to go quick. If I can get it out of the package. This transmitter looks pretty cool though. Has a power button. Has a little spin trim button here and a land. I don't think it's going to be that complicated. I think it's got like an altitude hold type thing. No, no, it doesn't actually. The stick doesn't stick in the middle, so it doesn't have that, but who cares? It's got the props and oh, let me whip out my trusty razor blade. Might not even need to dig out. I might not even need to open this crap. got a little bit of juice in there um, yeah it's got some kind of proprietary damn thing on there. I don't know why they just didn't put a micro USB port on there odd you know they have them on all their other quadcopters of ZX 2 3 and all them they just have a micro USB Thing and you could just plug any anything in there, charge it up, and now with this one they want to have some proprietary looking goofy ass thing. And imbeciles. All that shows me is it was made by somebody else. Somebody else manufactured the thing. Came up with a goofy ass plug. I've never even seen one that looks like this. Never. Okay, well that's all there is to it. I mean, there is nothing to this thing beside the manual and the beside the manual and the bag of stuff. There's nothing to it. I'm gonna have to figure out some way to get these prop guards off of here. That's for sure, because they're I'll have to chop them off, get the uh, wire cutters, and cut them. I don't want those on there would save me from getting hit in the face wouldn't it um, it has um, it doesn't have an all-wheel uh, uh, turning so 
the turning radi radius is probably not going to be that good because it only the only the front wheels turn doesn't have the four wheel turning on there so all right let me uh cut the video and then go and uh charge it up for a couple of minutes at least if we can hear it just to start it up here at the table at least we can hear it because i'm going to take it up there today and uh i'm going to take it up to the park here in a little bit because i'm taking the uh the spark up to uh, i'm going to take that right out because i don't have the controller i'm going to take that right to the middle of the field and just take it up for a little bit and spin it around uh, I flew it last night after that live stream in the house. I took it up and it just sat there, never moved. So, but you know, I don't like them phone controls. So. This thing, I just put a quick charge on it to um, show you how it, uh, it works real quick. Um, it's very simple, okay? It's very easy. Uh, there's a power switch back here where you turn it on and off. So you just turn it on or turn on the con controller or turn this on, whatever. You know, do the old bind it up deal. And the way it works is that the one side of the stick, the right side, is for driving the car. Okay. So that just drives the car. And it turns the car too. You just turn left and right, or forward and backwards. Now the left stick works the quadcopter. Okay. And then once the thing gets airborne, this thing gets disengaged and this is used for the banking for the quadcopter. Now I took it up in the living room there. It seemed pretty stable actually. It doesn't have altitude hold, but it didn't, it was holding, you know, pretty good. It wasn't doing all that like a lot of them do, you know, these little cheap ones. They'll sit there and keep dropping it and you gotta keep fighting it to keep it up in the air. But it, uh, it stayed pretty stable. So I'm sure that uh, it won't be that much of a, it won't be that difficult to fly. But my only thing about it, it's extremely light. I mean, this thing weighs like a couple of ounces. So I'm sure there's not a very big battery in there. So I'm not expecting it to have a lot of, of time. It seems pretty snappy as far as the driving part. The thing seems pretty quick from um, what I've seen just by doing it in the hallway over there. It seemed pretty quick. So I'll take it up uh, a little bit later this afternoon up to the park and uh we'll uh spin it around all right guys thanks for watching